When was it built? Uh, 2650 BC. 2650, 2650 BC. BC. King Kiops. So it's 4,000 years old? Yeah. Wow. Boom! What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Joannis or Joe Hatagua. I'm a Sierra Leonean American living here in Accra, Ghana. And if you want to know what it's like to be at the Pyramids of Giza up close and personal, then this is the video for you. Alright guys, so I recently got to check off another item on my bucket list. I got a chance to go to the Pyramids of Giza and to see the Sphinx up close and personal. Really, really cool experience and you'll get a chance to see that here. So, without further ado, check it out. Alright guys, so we're on our way to the Pyramids now. We're in an Uber on our way. It's about an hour ride. So, um, we just passed a few different towns on the way. So I'll show you guys what it looks like on the way. And then once we get there, we'll start going with the tour. All right, we're about to go in. Just got our tickets. <laughs> this you? Now we have to go through security. After that, they use that much broken stones and mud bricks to build the same ramp, but around the body of the pyramid. The more they put blocks, they had to go higher with this ramp. After that, they finished. They had to remove this ramp. They kept it here since 10,000 years. And we had to polish the face of the pyramid. We are so lucky that the second pyramid still gave its original cover, its original case, to show us how the pyramid looked like original. It was like very polished, very smooth. Some opinions said that the pyramid had golden cap to, to uh, protect the pyramid from any collapsing and also to reflect the sun rays to the people very far to the eastern side to uh, believe or to imagine or to uh, be satisfied that the king enjoyed the second one. Okay? Yeah. So guys, this is really cool. We are here at the pyramids. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Where the pyramids of Giza. Right now they're taking pictures where like they're holding the pyramid. Um, we just got a whole explanation of how they did this. So basically, to build this, they had to build ramps all the way around it, all the way to the top, and then they moved the dirt over here. So there's a bunch of dirt mounds over here because that's what they used to go around the pyramid to go all the way to the top when they were building it. Um, 30,000 people over 20 years to build these pyramids. Also, you can imagine how they were cutting, how they were polishing the, the limestones. They were using black basalt. Basalt is stronger than the limestone, so they could carve, they could polish. Especially when it's very sharp, it can be like very sharp. Like this is basalt still here. Thousand. Close up to the pyramid, more details, especially the two entrances. Yes, please. Okay. 
can go on the rocks? Yes, we can. So there are two entrances um, to this place. One is blocked by stone, the other one is just a regular entrance. I'll show you. So the first entrance is where these guys are standing right here. And then the second entrance is up there that's blocked by stone. They did say you get charged a hundred thousand or a couple hundred thousand Egyptian pounds if you try to scale this place and they make you stay in jail for six months. So don't try it. Building the Greek pyramid, they had to find a flat base on the top of this plateau. That's why they were cutting the stones with the same technique I explained, the same like Torah. But not to build those stones, just to find a flat base. I told you, those holes, like 50 centimeters between each, everywhere you can see the, those holes and you can see how big are the stones they cut already. Before building the stones in the body of the pyramid, they had to polish the six edges or the six faces of the block because any little shake that means it will collapse. They didn't use any, uh, any cement, any concrete, that's why they had to put it like stick together. Can I see? The original cover of the pyramid was like this. Can you imagine the whole body of the pyramid was like this? So now you can uh, use the staircase. Go ahead. You go to the entrance to take some photos from the top, selfie, or I can take the Alright, I'm gonna go up. Alright, so I'm gonna go up the stairs and check it out for first hand view. So this is just the first entrance, right? So remember I showed you the two entrances from down there. So this is the first one, right here. And then the second one, that was sealed, but they can't open, is all the way up there. So you can't go up there. You see the gates? They're blocking you from going up there, but there's a second entrance, like higher up, that's completely sealed. They can't get in, so this is the only entrance that they can get in. But I want you guys to see, first of all, it's a long way down, so I gotta watch my steps, but look at this. So we're not even like close to even halfway to the top. It goes way up there. But right there is the second entrance that I was talking about. You can barely see it. Yeah, it's really cool. Eleven meters from its original height. Not only from the top, but also from the body itself. That's why you can see it's not like polished or polished organized. It lost 11 meters? 11 meters. How? Just the wear erosion. and tear? The erosion. Erosion, okay. Yeah. Okay. And the falling stones, they were using it for building uh, modern buildings. Okay. Like during the Greek period, they were using it to build some temples, churches, synagogues, palaces. He gave them the order to bury themselves beside him to share him the second life. Like him, you know, the architect who designed the pyramid and the prime minister, the high priest. These are, uh, those are like uh, VIP tombs. Okay, so those, those are VIP tombs. The pyramid, uh, the priest, the high priest, and his architect were also buried on site. They got their own burials. This is how a light show is. Oh, so that's what a light show lights, They can direct into the bottom of the pyramid. And some speakers can talk about the history of the area. So it's like a amazing show by night. Everywhere you can see a collection of lights with different colors. Laser, original lights. From far distance, you can imagine that the second pyramid is the biggest one. This is not true. What happened that King Catherine couldn't have enough money to find such a great pyramid or bigger than his father? That's why he went to a higher plateau. From this point, you can imagine how it's like uh, higher than this one. The, le the level between the bases, 10 meters. This one lower, 10 meters, that one higher. The base itself higher, 10 meters. 
That's why from far distance you can imagine that the second one is the biggest. This is not true. The the side of the base like 230. That one, the side of the base, it's 190 meters. And the height itself, after losing 11 meters, 137. That one originally 135. By seeing the pyramid in the television or uh, in any photo, the second one still keep its original cover on the top. When was it built? Uh, 2650 BC. 2650, 2650 BC. BC. King Cops. So it's 4,000 years old. Yeah. Wow. Four thousand year old structure. From the eastern side of the pyramid, we found three graves, not the shape of a boat or a ship. One said that those boats, the boats which carried the king and his stuff to the western side of his pyramid, and they had to bury them here uh, beside the pyramid because they thought that the king would use those boats to navigate heavens. Oh. That's why they called them solar boats. Nineteen sixty-five, they succeed to rebuilt one of them and they did like a special museum to open it or to show it for guests. Last year they decided to move that boat to the new museum. They are building a new museum near to the pyramids. It will be the greatest museum all over the world. So they decided to move that boat to the new place or the new, to the new museum. You can see only the building and they are like taking it off because it was not going with the decoration of the area. Yes, nice photos from this view. Yeah. Give me a camera. Now we're in the back of the pyramid. It's still a great pyramid of Giza. You can see you can't even get the whole thing in, the, in view or in scope. But yeah. Six pictures. Shout out to the camels. Man on the camel. That's how it goes down. Okay, so the pyramids for the queens are over here. The, the smaller ones. So that one is a pyramid for one of the queens, another one's there. And go, this is the back of the, the Great Pyramid of Giza. It looks like that was another entrance over there. Each pyramid had a complex. The complex of the pyramid started by the shore of the River Nile. Before building the high dam near to Aswan, 1956, so the river Nile usually came to this area or came to this point with the feet of the Sphinx. So we just walked from up there. Doesn't look as steep as it is, but you see everybody walking down it now. Walking to find the grave, or the real grave, or the tomb, or maybe somebody reburied or rebuilt uh, graves for the kings who built the grave pyramid. Maybe to save the mummies or the rubbers for the grave. So they were looking for any of those graves. So they, they still haven't found their graves yet. So they are wondering where are the mummies? So they thought that somebody remarried them, remarried the kings in some different areas, not inside the pyramid. Ah, I see. Yeah, right. the graves with the shape of ships or boats. Those boats was said that they carried the king and his accessories to this uh, position, to this place, to bury the king and his accessories. And they had to bury the, two, the, the ships or the boats also. They thought that the king would use it in his second life. They called them solar boats. 1965, they succeeded to rebuild the first one. It was like a great museum in front of the Greek pyramid to show the solar boat, the first one. But when they finished, they are like uh, preparing to open the Greek museum, they moved it to the new museum. The Greek museum in near to the pyramids. 
So it was said that the solar boat, which carried the dead body and carried the accessories, to put it inside the pyramid. And they had to bury it inside the pyramid or inside the area to use it in the second life. It was said that the king of the dead body needs to navigate even twice a day. Journey of the morning, journey by night. It's very important to know that there are a lot of elements. Each pyramid had a complex. The complex of the, py of the pyramid started by the shore of the river line in front of the feet of the Sphinx by bending the harbor of the port to receive the solar boats or the ships who were carrying the king and his stuff. Behind it, they built the Valley Temple. We can see that square building. It's called the Valley Temple for doing mummification for sale. From the Valley Temple to the, to the pyramid itself, they find this causeway. This causeway was covered by this granite. And behind the, the, the pyramid, the front of the pyramid, they built the funerary uh, complex or the funerary temple to do some rituals before putting the king inside his pyramid of the final destination. The two sphinx. So originally, Shesaban, Greeks called it sphinx. Man, what an experience. Just from the education that I got, you know, the, our tour guide was really good with giving us the, the details and the description of who these, these pyramids were built for, what the relationships were, um, who else got tombs built for them, how long they've been around, and just, just kind of the history of Egypt overall. Really, really good trip. I enjoyed it. If you like this content, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Make sure you comment below and of course share it with anybody who could use some ancient Kemet or ancient Egyptian history. With that guys, thanks for watching. See you all in the next video. Alright guys, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, like, comment, and share it with your friends. Alright, see you on the next video.